Hey guys, welcome back to my vegan kitchen. I've got a really great recipe for you. I know I always say that all the time, but this one's really special. You also say that all the time. Do I? Yeah. Okay, well this one is for healthy oatmeal cookies. It's cookies! I love cookies, I'm the cookie lady. So let's get right to it. It's only a few ingredients, relatively. It is an oatmeal cookie recipe, so it's going to start with oatmeal. And I have, does it say oatmeal? No. I don't think so. It used to. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> it used to say oatmeal. It says, this sticker got ripped off. Oh, it's going to be oatmeal in two forms. Whole rolled oats, like you see here, and then oat flour. I think you really need a high speed blender to make the oat flour. So if you don't have it, just buy the oat flour. Bob's Red Mill. They sell it in the like natural section. So this is going to be basically a dump recipe. Yeah. I like that. You just dump everything in the bowl and you mix it up. And then you, you know, spoon it out onto your pan. So like I said, it's two types of oatmeal. It's going to be two cups. And I'm putting two cups into my bowl of dump. <laughs> Ew. This is a half cup scoop. It's going to take a little bit longer because it's... Yeah, we, we get it. And you're also going to put two cups. Now don't get upset if it's not exact. You know, like if you didn't level it off. It, this recipe is extremely forgiving. So just deal with it. So we're going to take the two cups of rolled oats and we're going to blend them in the high speed blender like at medium speed for probably about I don't, not even 30 seconds. Alright, that was like 10 seconds. It was really quick. It's a real discount. It sure is. We're just gonna add this to the dump mixture. It's really simple. I don't even bother washing the, uh, the blender after that because it's NBD. No big deal. The next ingredient is almond flour. Same deal if you have whole almonds and you want to use whole raw almonds and grind them up in your um, blender, go for it. But I'm just going to use this already ground up one. Almonds are kind of a pain in the ass to ground up um, in the blender because it, I think it would really shorten the life of your blender because yeah. almonds are... They're tough. If, yeah, if you do it on a regular basis, don't worry if you got more again. If you do it on a regular basis, I think it's going to kill your blender prematurely. So now we've got those first two ingredients in there. Let's just move these out of the way. And let's add the other dry ingredient. And that is a tablespoon of cinnamon. I love cinnamon. Alright. If you really like cinnamon, you can add more, but at least a tablespoon. Same thing with um, vanilla. If you really like vanilla, you could put it in. If you don't, um, no big deal. You don't have to put it in. I'm not going to put it in today. I made it both with and without vanilla. <laughs> I just mouthed, I like vanilla, <laughs> and Bob totally ignored me. No, I didn't. I was thinking, well, screw you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Now, for the next part of the recipe, I highly recommend making your life extremely easy and using a food scale. Then you won't have to worry about scraping out uh, measuring cups and everything. Just do the food scale thing and you'll be so happy. So you just turn on your scale, put your bowl on the scale, zero it out. Okay, so now for the wet ingredients. We're going to put in four ounces of apple butter because we're going to try and make this a little bit healthy. A little bit. I mean, if we were just to put in straight sugar, that would be processed and like not so cool. But almond butter, you get a lot of flavor for a little bit the of calories. Butter. You're right. Apple butter. Again, don't worry if it's not exact. That's like 4.1. Not a big deal. Then we're going to also add in uh, brown rice syrup. If you don't have brown rice syrup, you could use agave. You could use um, maple syrup. So again, zero it out. Just push the button. Hey, we're back to zero. <laughs> Everything's cool. And then we're going to put in four ounces of this as well. Look at that go. I know, right? Uh-oh, we're getting close. Got to stop the flow. 
Whoa, four on the dot. Wow. How about that? How about, that? Side. How about that? <laughs> okay. And then the final ingredient, other than the add-ins, is going to be peanut butter. You can do this without the peanut butter. This is an optional ingredient. We're gonna put, well, since it was already on four, we know that we don't have to zero it out. It's just gotta go up to six now. I'm going to put in two ounces of the peanut butter, just for a little bit of extra flavor. Whoop, 6.1. Oh, no, no, it went down. Oh, there we go. You wow. Nailed it. The final two ingredients. Now, today I'm using chocolate chips, vegan of course, and dried cranberries. You could also use raisins. You could use uh, some chopped nuts if you want it in there. Maybe, you know, like those tiny little white chocolate chips. Mm. It's whatever you want. Exactly. So now we're gonna do one cup of the raisins, about, and we're going to do half a cup of the chocolate chips. So you can eyeball this. You can, you can be like, oh, that's like a half. All right, we're taking this over to the mixer, and you remember the trick, go slow at first because you don't want a big cloud of stuff to uh, get in your face. So just mix this on low until it's completely mixed together. Make sure you lock it down so it doesn't, you know, there's a lot of pieces in there, a lot of moving parts. All right, perfect. You can see it's starting to pull away from the sides. It's perfectly mixed. All right, I've prepared my two cookie sheets with, um, parchment paper so that it doesn't stick because this can stick. It's sticky. <laughs> it's, got a, it's got all the syrup and everything in it so it's, it's going to be a little sticky. It's a mess in there. <laughs> it's all messed up. Alright, so I'm using a, I guess this is probably about a two tablespoon scoop, you know like coffee size scoop and it's got the thing that pushes it out. You don't have to put um, an oil on there to keep it from sticking. All you have to do is stick your scoop in water in between oh. scoops and it'll come right out. So make sure you push it against the side of the bowl so you get the same size cookie each time. And it just pushes out so simply like that. And remember, just keep dipping your scoop in the water. And also, if your mixture is too dry when you mix it, you can just add a couple of tablespoons of water and it's gonna get dehydrated in the, in the toaster or in the oven anyway. So you don't really have to worry about adding extra water. So I'm just gonna get these all scooped out onto the trays and we'll be ready to pop it in the oven. Last one, now let's pop these bad boys and girls in the oven. These are going in at 150 because that's as low as my uh, toaster oven goes. For five hours or so, I, I can only do a maximum of two hours. I'm gonna have to come back and reset it after the two hours. If you have a dehydrator also, you could do it in there. But um, if you just have a regular oven, 150 for five hours. Oh baby, these have just come out of the oven. And look who's here to help <laughs> me taste them. They're so fresh and beautiful. These are from last time because I like to keep this on the table because these are perfect any time of the day it's cookies. It's very accessible. It is really delicious. It's I really lovely. hope you guys try them. Why don't you uh, try one? This one. This one looks nice. Okay. It's got a lot of chippies. Yeah. Mmm. They're I'm good right... I'm my mouth and then I'm talking on my teeth. <laughs> They're good right out of the oven because the chocolate's still all melty and everything, That's really good. but they're really good cold too because they tend to get a little more crunchy. And I love a crunchy cookie. I know you love a soft cookie. I love them nice and warm. They're ready to party. <laughs> like I said, guys, I hope you make them. They're super healthy. They're super delicious. They're perfect. Till next time. Much love.